Before watching this, make sure you have watched the how to install an Alara room divider video. You need to use the fire rated panels from the range if you were creating a completely separate room. These can still be painted if you wish. To create an entirely new room, you will need the three packs door rail kit, door panel kit, and angle brackets. You will also need a sliding door of your choice, at least 800mm wide and below 24kg. You must also use a flush handle with the door. Your room divider must be at least 187cm wide, a 100cm panel, 75cm door kit and three 4cm wide posts. The side that you want the door to open onto must be at least 100cm wide to allow the sliding rail to be fitted and the door to fully open. If you want to paint any panels or posts, do this before the installation for best results. Ensure all posts have a groove facing the side that the door will be fitted to. This is how the rail connects to the posts. You will also need grooves facing into the door opening on both sides, as this is how the top panel connects to the posts. Start by building one side of the room divider first, up to the gap where the door opening will be. Now, attach the lug into the sliding door panel bracket and insert the complete fixing into the groove of the post at approximately 2 metres from the ground, in line with where the panels on the other side of the post join. Screw the bracket into the post, making sure it's straight with the spirit level. Ensure that the lug gets twisted and doesn't stay vertical. Fix the clips to the sliding door panel and clip into the posts in the same way as the standard panels. Make sure the panel rests on the top part of the bracket. The panel measures 25 cm high and needs to sit above the door opening and to remain flush at the top. Add dowels to the top of this panel if your ceiling height requires additional panels on top. While one person holds this panel in place, position the next post and fix it in place, clipping it to the sliding door panel in the usual way. Add the angle bracket to this post at the same height and in the same way. Make sure that the gap between the two posts is the same at the top and the bottom. Screw out the top foot and secure the post, checking it straight with the spirit level. Complete the assembly of the rest of the room divider. The next step is to fit the rail that the door hangs on. The rail fixes into three posts. Two posts directly either side of the gap for the sliding door and also the next post with at least a 1 meter gap on the side that the door will open onto. Measure the height of your door. Add 48 millimeters and mark this measurement on the three posts. Put the screws through the appropriate holes in the rail. Add the spacers to the other side and attach the lugs to the end of the bolts. Your rail is now ready to fit. Position the rail at the marked heights and screw into place. Ensure that the lug gets twisted and doesn't stay vertical when securing the rail to the post. Repeat this at the other two posts. Check that the rail is straight with the spirit level. Slide one stopper, followed by the two wheel door attachments onto the rail and add the final stopper. These can later be positioned to prevent the door opening past certain points. Attach the brackets to the top of the door. Make sure that the centre of the brackets are 90mm from the edge of the door and aligned in the centre of the thickness of the door. Raise the door so that the brackets on top of the door hook over the exposed thread of the wheel door attachments. Ensure the bracket sits between the two nuts of the wheel door attachment. Use the supplied 10mm spanner to tighten the nuts and secure the door in place. Then the next step is to fix the door runners to the floor, directly in front of the post which the door slides past to open. Measure the thickness of the door and add 4mm. The gap between the runners is this wide to allow the door to easily slide through. With the door hanging in place, mark where the runners need to go through the pre-drilled holes. Ensure there are no cables or pipe work under the floor and screw into place using appropriate fittings. At this point, you can adjust the stopping position of the door to prevent it opening too far. 
by screwing the rail stopper at the appropriate position. It is now time to cut and fit the vanity strips. For the three posts the sliding door rail attaches to, measure the height of the grooves below and above the door rail and cut the vanity strips to size. Do the same for the gap below the sliding door panel on both sides and then push them into place. Now you can add the rail cover panel. Screw the brackets into the back of the main panel using the grooved line as an indicator for the centre point of each bracket. Ensure the bracket at each end of the panel is 12mm from the end. Equally space the remaining two between these. Clip this into place onto the rail ensuring the end of the metal brackets are flush. Then hold the end caps in place and screw them on using the pre-drilled holes. Now you can enjoy your new room.